Nagy. I'm co-head of the McDonald Hopkins Corporate Restructuring Group. We're going to talk today about some of the trends we're seeing in the market and the current environment since the coronavirus crisis started unfolding several weeks ago. And we're going to talk about several issues that tend to arise with distressed businesses and things companies can do from both an offensive and a defensive perspective to help protect themselves in the current environment. In terms of what we're seeing out there in the market, of course, the news headlines have highlighted what has been occurring in the corporate equity markets and the steps that have been taken at the federal, state, and local government levels to help protect the populations and impact on businesses. However, what we believe is really going to trigger a recession from the demand side is when businesses start having to lay off employees. And in addition, they have to cope with bloated debt on their balance sheets that's built up over the last 10 years in a very low interest rate uh, environment. We've already seen some issues starting to surface in the credit markets, although less reported in the broader media. We know from anecdotal feedback, and talking with clients and other relationships, that a lot of businesses are out there drawing down their lines of credit uh, from both commercial and non-commercial lenders. And in these situations, you take the risk of a run on the bank where lenders don't have the cash on hand to meet those lending obligations. And we believe that these types of issues are why the Fed is in an aggressive way uh, intervening in the credit markets very early on to try to, cre uh, to lubricate uh, the, the underlying fundamentals and ensure adequate liquidity flowing through the system uh, to meet credit needs of businesses as they come due and also to ensure adequate liquidity. We're not sure that ultimately it's going to make a difference uh, since the current crisis is a result of credibility issues, fear, and also lack of demand coming from a consumer-driven economy. Uh, the other thing we're seeing is businesses having to deal very proactively with employee issues. Um, they're trying to get their arms around uh, what the current legislation making its way through Congress is going to mean for them and how they're going to finance these new employee obligations. It's our experience that our clients want to do the right thing for their employees, but at the end of the day, they want to make sure that everybody has a job to come back to um, when this crisis passes. Uh, we have not yet seen uh, in a tidal wave of restructurings and bankruptcies, but we believe it's just on the horizon. The reason we believe this is we're starting to get calls from clients asking about their options and talking through different scenarios where they may have to engage in an act of restructuring or even plan for a bankruptcy process. So we know that folks are thinking about it. We also know, just based on media reports and based on um, the fundamental underlying facts, that industries such as the airlines, the cruise ships, the hospitality industry are going to be in deep trouble and likely will need government intervention. And that combined with the lack of demand puts them at serious risk of having to undergo balance sheet restructurings, or even file for Chapter 11 in the next two to four months. And of course, when you have broad sectors of the economy like that that are suffering, it tends to have a domino effect, which doesn't even start to address um, all the layoffs and inactivity in the restaurant and retail space uh, over the last couple of weeks and in, in the coming months. 